Ain't nothing better than watching you smile Whoa, 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 whoa. Ain't nothing better than watching you laugh Out loud, my baby Ain't nothing better than watching you Be you Ain't nothing better than right now In your eyes lie the secrets I don't wanna miss Put your Hey, I'm going to see Skyfall. Okay, James Bond movie. I'm uh, very excited. I uh, went to see it last night, but it was sold out, so I'm going today to see it. It's a 1 o'clock showing. Okay, so um, I'll be uh, include this in my video when I do my review. Okay, and quick impression. Javier Barra. Okay. Chasing Spies, MI6. She sent you after me, knowing you weren't ready. Mommy was very, very bad. Got my ticket. There it is. Go on in. I got some high overpriced soda and candy. That was amazing. Hi, I'm back. I hope you enjoyed that little um, live outside footage that I recorded on my way to the theater and while well, I was at the theater on my way out. Okay, um, just wanted to add that in. I like when people do that, those out and about things. So I'm going to try to start doing more of that for my videos. Okay, and anyway, um, and just to keep up to tradition and for Chris Blue 007. That's my ticket for Skyfall. You know, you saw it in the video there. And there it is right there. And you can see it real good. Skyfall, yeah. There it is. Okay, I saw it today at 1 o'clock. Um, and like I said in the last video that you saw, amazing. This is truly amazing. Um, I remember when Chris, I saw Chris Blue, 007's uh, review of this movie. He said it was probably the best James Bond movie seen. Uh, I would have to totally agree. This movie is outstanding. Um, First of all, uh, I love the story and the way it's written. And as you can tell from the uh, from the trailer, in the beginning of the movie, uh, it starts off with uh, James Bond chasing a thief that's stolen a hard di hard drive that um, he's with his partner Eve, uh, played by Naomi ha Harris. He's chasing a thief that's stolen the hard disk, hard drive, excuse me, from MI6 that has all the um, identities, all the undercover agents and terrorist organizations all over the world. So he's, you know, they have a great opening chase scene where there's, you know, they're chasing this thief and they have, you know, they have a fantastic chase through the, out the city. They even have a great scene where he's, Daniel Craig's chasing the, the bad guy on a motorbike over rooftops and looks fantastic. And anyway, as you see in the trailer, um, Daniel Craig, while well, he's chasing the bad guy for the, his partner Eve is driving simultaneously following him and they're on the train on top of the train and um, they're getting ready to go into a tunnel and she has to take a shot and M basically tells her go ahead take the bloody shot like you see in the trailer and she winds up accidentally shooting De you know, James Bond of course and he's presumed dead as you can tell in the trailer so this is not really anything spoiler even though there's going to be just minor spoilers in this and uh, of course uh, um, while well, James Bond is presumed dead MI6 comes under attack and specifically somebody who's targeting M uh, okay, and then of course James Bond comes back to help her. And first of all, let me say this movie is outstanding. Like I said, I love the way it's written, and I love the the flow of this. And Javier Bardem, who plays Silver, the the villain, I won't tell you what his reason is for targeting MI6 and specifically M, but it's a really good reason. <laughs> um, when I saw this movie, and he makes a scary villain. Like I said, he was a different type of scary than he was in No Country for Old Men. But he is equally scary in this movie to me, and he makes a great foil for um, for James Bond in this movie. And I say Daniel Craig is great as James Bond. He's just 
and one of the reasons, like I said, I said before, um, one of the reasons I love him as James Bond is, as opposed to Pierce Bronson, is one of the same reasons I like Sean Connery as opposed to Roger Moore. Okay, James Bond is supposed to be smooth with the ladies. That's what he's known for, one of the reasons. But also, James Bond is supposed to be deadly. He's supposed to be able to, you know, like I said, he has a license to kill, right? That's what the 007 is for. He has a license to kill. And James Bond, to me, is supposed to be dangerous. He's supposed to be, and and Danny Craig exudes that uh, perfectly in this movie. He, you know, he believe, like I said, he, that he'll, he'll snap your neck in a minute, okay? And anyway, um, Judy Dent is great as usual, and, she, and this time she has more to do because, like I said, the plot center, centers around her in this movie, so she has a lot to do. And of course, Judy Dent is a great, great world-class, famous actress, so. She more than lives up to her, you know, to the to the part. And um, also, Ralph Fiennes is in it. He plays like a boss who comes in, like, who works for the government, who comes in basically after, you know, after the hard drive is stolen and some of the agents start dying. He comes in to basically tell them that she has to retire, you know. And of course, she's not having it, of course. <laughs> of course, and like I said, James Bond comes back, as you can see in the trailer. He comes back, so that's not a spoiler thing. He comes back to help and fight up this threat. And like I said, Javier Barnett is, is he's scary. I mean, there's a part in the middle of the movie where he confronts M. It's just, <laughs> so it reminds me of Hannibal Lecter. Uh, you know, that first scene in, in Signs of the Lens when you see Hannibal Lecter meets Clarice Starling. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Okay, and like I said, he's a very, very great villain. Just He adds to the tradition of great Bond villains. He's just fantastic to me and this movie is just perfect this like I said this is way better than you know quantum of silence of course and I think this is better than uh, Casino Royale which I really really like I thought Danny Craig was great in Casino Royale but I think the story is just better in this movie in um, Skyfall is just a better story and like I said the climax towards the end is just you know what happens at the end of the movie is just fantastic and like I said I got emotional watching this movie which you know, you see James Bond movie, you don't get emotional watching a James Bond movie, but I felt myself, you know, getting a little emotional at the, at the end of this movie. And like I said, and I know everybody that, came, that watched the movie, at least in the theater I watched it at, at 1 o'clock, it was crowded, and, and at the end, everybody basically clapped. When, you know, when the credits came up and said, James Bond will be back, everybody started clapping. And it was that good a movie, and I definitely think this is one of the best movies of 2012. I think this is definitely going into the top... Um, 10 movies of 2012 because uh, it's, it's that to me it's that good and Sam Mendes who directed this was is great and I'm kind of you know I think I read something that they asked him if he was going to do another James Bond movie and I think he said no but hopefully maybe they'll get him to do it again direct again because his direction was great and the script whoever wrote the script for this movie I think they credited three people for writing the script for this movie they should get that, them people to do do the next one again because like I said it's not, it's not broken that's the thing? Yeah. Yeah, if it's not broken, go, if it's not broken, you know, leave it the same. That's that's my feeling on it. It's just, that means it's that good. It's that good a movie. And like I said, I was in my seat riveted, wondering what's going to happen and how it would play out. And just really, really good movie. I, just, I can't say more than enough. I definitely would highly recommend, definitely go see it. I know most people all over, except for the United States, because it just debuted uh, yesterday in the United States. So everybody else all over the world has probably seen it already. And it definitely lived up to the hype. And I definitely have to give you props, uh, Mr. Steelbook Daddy, when you did your review, uh, Chris Blue. Yeah, it was definitely uh, the be one of the best movies of the year to me, in my opinion. Just absolutely outstanding. Okay, so definitely see, see. Let me know what you think of the movie. You feel free to leave your comments down below. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care. All right, two quick impressions from the wonderful. Uh, Skyfall movie that I saw today. Okay, first, Javier Bardet. Okay. Am I chasing spies? MI6? She sent you after me, knowing you weren't ready. Mommy was very, very bad. Second impression. Well, Daniel Craig. James Bond. Okay. Everyone needs a hobby. What's yours? Resurrection. And, okay. 
some men are going to come through that door. They're going to try to kill us. We're going to kill them first. 